Do you want a quick seated stretch, one that's gonna help wake up our shoulders, hips, back? Well, today's class is just for you. Hey friends, it's Kate here. Thanks so much for joining me today. I've got a lovely 10 minute seated stretch. We don't need any props, but if you know you have tight hamstrings or it's hard to sit on the floor, you might wanna block or roll up your yoga mat. Uh, this class in particular is really gonna hit our upper body, our hips, and our back. So for those of us that wake up feeling tight in those places, this is a perfect morning stretch for you. Roll out your mat, let's get started. Let's go ahead and begin in an easy, comfortable seat, whatever feels good for you. Hands to your lap, shoulders down, ears high. Close the eyes and check in with the body if you feel comfortable with that. Take a big inhale, dip your chin to chest. Almost feel like you're giving yourself a double chin here as you lift the back of the head up and pull the chin closer. We might look and feel a little silly, but who cares? Flutter the eyes open if you so choose. Roll your right ear to right shoulder looking forward to me. Bring the chin back down to chest. Left ear to left shoulder. Bring it down. Just sway the chin, the head, side to side a few times. Saying hello to the neck. And then from here, bring the chin back down to the center of your chest, pause. Bring your gaze up right, take a big inhale, reaching the hands high, rotate the pinkies towards one another, grow an inch or two taller, drop the right hand down, and let's take a big deep side body stretch. Push into the floor, broaden across the chest, take a full big inhale, big breath out. Point your nose up to the sky, flip the palm, cactus the arm. Try to push your arm, your hand back, getting a deeper stretch across your pack. And then look forward to me. Take a deep seated forward fold. Roll yourself all the way upright. Both hands lift nice and high over your head. Rotate the pinkies and grow up. Drop and big side stretch over. Pause here. Again, maybe point the nose up to the sky. Flip the palm cactus. Push the hand back. Stretch, look forward, easy forward fold. Roll yourself all the way up right. Again, both hands lift high, this time a little different. Reach for your opposite elbow. Pull them away and try to push the forearms up to the sky. Take a big, deep breath. Big sigh out. Let that go and immediately twist to your right. Right hand comes behind you, planting down, left hand to knee. Turn and try to point your nose further back. Slowly let that go, same thing, other side. Great big breath. Unravel, hands to your lap, begin to cat and cow, round and arch at your own pace. Just waking up the spine a little bit more. Slow that down, shoulders down, ears high. Can we extend our right leg away from us? Now yours might be a little bit more um, off to the side than mine. It might be more narrow, that's okay. But see if you can just sit tall and straight. I like to pull my heel a little closer to my pubic bone. If yours is further away from your body, that's perfectly fine too. But a couple of times I want us to actively flex the foot and then point the toe. Actively flex the foot and then point the toe. Last time, big flex and then choose what feels better, a point or a flex, doesn't matter which. Both hands lift up to the sky. Turn and look towards your right leg. Grow an inch taller and take a small hinge. Full big inhale. As you exhale, take the hands down by your side and then round the body, dropping the head lightly down. Walk your hands closer to your hips, roll yourself up. Left hand comes back behind you and just lean back looking up to the sky. Circle the arm, kind of move and groove. And then if you wanna go a little deeper, push into your left hand, rise up from the ground. And we might get a deeper, lovely side body and front of the hip stretch. Lower the hips down when you're ready. 
And one more time, let's lean over to the right, this time looking straight forward, drop the right hand either down to the ground on top of the shin, or you can keep the hand long, whatever feels better, and extend your left hand up to the sky. Find that beautiful side body stretch. Does it feel good to keep the hand straight up? Do you wanna reach it up and overhead? No right or wrong, pay attention to what you need. Full big inhale. Go ahead and come on upright. Bring the first foot in, take the opposite foot out. And then same thing, at first we'll just find a nice easy shape to sit, and then a couple of times we wanna flex and point the toe. Flex and point the toe, being unconcerned with exactly what we look like, instead of just focusing on that feeling through the ankle, the calf, maybe even up through the back of the hamstrings. Decide if you wanna point or flex makes no difference to me. Both hands lift up, turn and look towards your left leg, grow and take a small hinge. Remember, this is not about how close we come to our leg, but instead keeping our spine long and straight. One more breath, drop the hands down, and then round the back. Tuck the tail, pull the chin into the chest. Don't worry about your head coming close to the leg. Instead, really open up the back of the spine. Walk the fingers close to the hips and bring yourself all the way up. Turn to face forward, right hand comes behind you. At first we just lean back, kind of opening up your side body. You might find on this side it feels better to stretch the hand further away. Explore any movement that feels good for you. Big, small, fast, slow, do your thing. And then again, if we want to, we might push into our hands, lift our hips away from the ground, exploring a deeper stretch. Move, groove, do your thing. And then lower yourself back down to the mat. We'll turn, oh no, I lie, you face me this time. Reach your hand over towards your left leg as you lean over. We might set the forearm down, we might keep it straight. You could even set your forearm on the top of your leg. Whatever works, whatever range of motion you have. Keep separating the shoulders. Do you wanna try pointing your nose to the sky or down to the ground? That can, of course, change that lovely stretch for us. Reach the hand up overhead. For me, that really deepens the stretch. I feel it from the back of my right hip through my side body out my fingers. Great big inhale. Exhale, come all the way up right. Go ahead and we're going to extend both legs straight out in front of us. If you need to sit on a yoga block or roll up the mat, that's always okay. But feet parallel and again, let's flex and point. Flex and point. This time flex, pause, lift up and out of the waist, take both hands nice and high. Stretch longer, taller, big inhale, exhale, twist right. Unravel, twist left. Unravel. Now again, twist to the right, pause. Turn your nose back behind you. See if you can set the right hand down, push into the floor, and then roll the shoulder back and maybe look up to the sky. It's like my sternum is reaching up in the same direction as my hand. Get a bigger stretch underneath and kind of into the shoulder, across my pecs, a little spinal extension as well, and then slowly let that go, gracefully, awkwardly come on up. Swim both hands high and twist to the left. Pause, you could stay here, or we set the hand down. We start to lift. I roll the shoulder back. I puff the heart and chest up. Find that big, deep, beautiful stretch. Full big inhale. Exhale, upright we go. Both hands lift up tall. Again, grab for your elbows like we already did. Pull them away, push the forearms up. See if you're letting your rib cage flare, wrap it in a little bit more. Let that go. Take a tiny hinge forward. Tuck the chin into the chest. Hug your inner arms to your ears, maybe deep in the hinge. Another big inhale. Exhale a little deeper. One more breath, and then forward fold over the body. Slide the hands wherever feels best. Remember, you don't have to look quite like me, just move at your own pace. and then roll yourself up to a nice tall seat. Bend your right knee in, bring it as close to your hips as you like. Just give it a little hug right there. I really like to pull it in at first. And again, we're gonna take a twist, holding deeply onto the leg with your left hand and turning back to the right. Full big breath. 
Big sigh out. Slowly unravel, cross your right ankle over your left knee in a little figure four shape. If that's not in the cards for us, it's perfectly fine. I like to hold on to my shin as I lift out of the waist and then again, take a little hinge forward. Maybe tuck the chin deeper into the chest. We don't wanna actually arch the back, but ever so lightly rock forward off your sitting bones to deepen the stretch. One more big inhale. Go ahead and forward fold over the legs. Again, almost imagine there's a beach ball kind of sitting on your lap and you're just draping yourself over it rather than trying to flatten out your body. Roll on up. Lovingly unravel the first leg. Pull the second leg in. And again, a nice hug, nice squeeze, lifting up and out of the waist. Full big inhale. Easy breath out. Hold deeply. Take your twist, touch the hand back behind you if you want to. And then we'll look forward, crossing the, oh my gosh, left leg over the right, hands to your shins, lengthen and hinge, tucking the chin into the chest a little more. You've got this, my friend. Take a deeper hinge if you so choose and then little round forward. Roll yourself all the way up. Just take an easy seat for a moment, sitting up and away. Close the eyes again, checking in with the body. 10 minutes doesn't always feel like a lot, but my goodness, it can make such a difference in the body. Full big inhale, big breath out. A little bow of the chin to the chest, and as always, a great big pat on the back. Thank yourself for doing something so good and just for you. I certainly hope you enjoyed class. I cannot wait to see you again.